What's going on guys? It is that guy with a fresh cut. Just kidding, it's that guy with movies back here again. As you can notice, I do have a brand new haircut now, just in time for back to school. But anyway though guys, today's video is going to be, once again, another shopping video. Just kind of, you know, making up for the month without a, you know, shopping video. So we're going to go out to Goodwill and Savers today. Two locations I haven't been to in a, in a uh, little while. So we're going to go there, we'll see what they have. Sorry my, you know, my arm is a little bit quaky here, but we're going to go over to Goodwill, we're going to see what they have today, and then we're also going to go to Savers, and we'll see what they have as well. So let's go to those places, and we'll see what they have today. Alright guys, we're here at Savers, so let's go in inside and see what they have to, for us today. Alright guys, inside Savers right now, and man, they have totally restocked. But uh, let's take a look at what they have here. They have a couple seasons of South Park. I grabbed one already. It was the 15th season. That season is impossible to find anywhere. So I thought I'd grab that one. But they do have the 13th season here. I do see this one a little bit. So probably not going to grab it and for 8 bucks. You know, out of my price range. But, uh, you know, they have three seasons of the Jamie Kennedy experiment. If you're fans of Jamie Kennedy, which I'm not. But... I have a couple Blu-rays here of Iron Man 3, which I am a fan of. I like that movie. Um, Workaholics, I know that one's pretty popular. Um, extras, more seasons of South Park, but I do have these three seasons right here. So 17, 10, and 11. Um, they have a season of Game of Thrones here, the third season. And if you're a fan of ER, they have pretty much every single season of ER here, all like 15 of them. And... Yeah, they've got most of them here. Got a couple down here. They have the Tudors. I think probably the complete series of that. Um, the Rocky Anthology. They have seasons 4 and 5 of Angel. Um, the Ali G Show. They have all the TNG Star Trek movies in the Collector's Edition releases. Plus they have these four film favorites. They have Ocean's Collection, Vacation Collection, Batman Collection, and Lethal Weapon. So there's all that. And this made a... Shred, that's not what I thought it was. But if we go down here, they have a couple more Blu rays. Uh, some, some of these James Bond sets, so it looks like some classic Bond ones there, mixed with some other ones. But what I've been seeing a lot are these really weird uh, UK releases. I don't know if somebody moved here from the UK and just got rid of all these, but they have like Courage Under Fire, St. Elmo's Fire, The Beach, Monster. They actually have more on the other shelves as well, but. I'll just take a look at more stuff here. They have the Nightmare Before Christmas, the stupid bilingual edition. Um, just about every single version of the Indiana Jones movies you can probably find. Um, but you got some more of these UK ones. You got Team America, uh, Backdraft, all that stuff. And uh, let's see what else there is here. But there's not really too, too much to talk about. There's a lot of stuff here, but. Uh, nothing really to write home about though. They also have the bodyguard as well with the UK thing and the full screen Indiana Jones And down here There does not seem to be anything that have pride and prejudice and that's pretty much about it for this shelf so now on to the second shelf of stuff and they have these or this big giant set of Shirley Temple movies um yeah, this is just insane. Probably somebody must have bought the the big, huge set of these Shirley Temple ones and just got rid of them. You know, the, the Bluebird, Little Miss Broadway, Baby Take a Bow, um, all that good stuff. Bright Eyes. So you get some Shirley Temple when she was a kid. Uh, more UK ones. You have Twenty One Grams, Kramer vs. Kramer, Fahrenheit 9/11, which somebody got for twelve pounds, and. That's about it for here. They have a couple of old UFC ones, plus some good old Star Trek, the original series, which huh? is from Goodwill. <laughs> but uh, yeah, they got that here, and uh, doesn't even have the movie in it. But down here, this is kind of where stuff started to go downhill a little bit. They have It's a Wonderful Life here, but that's the UK release. It's pretty, pretty nice release though. I kind of like that slip cover. Uh, you got some top gear. It's never really into that show. But uh, you got some Comedy Central, Carlos Mencia. And down here, 
just got some Dark Knight, but you see that pretty much everywhere. That is not that rare at all. But down here, doesn't seem to be anything, you know, you got like your usual IMAX stuff. And we go down here now, doesn't seem to be anything. And it's down here, uh, really nothing. So let's go on to the last shelf of stuff and let's see what they have over there. Alright, so now we are at the last shelf of movies here. So we'll just take a look at more stuff here. If I can even see the uh, top shelf of stuff. But down here, that's pretty interesting stuff. The Batman the movie, this is the old Adam West one, but looks like it's the reprint of that. And uh, I don't know what's out there. I think that used to belong to me, but uh, I think I got rid of that. But down here, um, we just got some newer stuff like Argo, Horrible Bosses. Um, but you know, not too much. I don't usually see Amityville 2 a whole lot, but they have it here. Uh, here's another one of those uh, TNG collector's editions with Star Trek Generations. Get some near cat manor oliver and company if we go down here this is just Tony english who cares um there we go paper soldiers they've had that here for like a long time now nobody even wanted it for five bucks but you know a movie with uh jay-z uh no thanks beneath the crust that must be something to do with american pie um down here, the double feature of Mortal Kombat and Mortal Kombat Annihilation. Really excited for that movie that's coming out either next year or the year after. That'll be a really cool one. And down here, uh, doesn't really seem to be much of This is Fascination. But, uh, or Jesus Factor Fiction. But anyway, though, that's it for the shelf, and that's pretty much about it for. Uh, savers so let's go over to goodwill now and let's see what they have there all right guys last stop of the day goodwill so let's go on inside and see if they have anything here all right guys inside goodwill right now and uh they got uh, quite a bit of blu-rays here one hd dvd but that's pretty much about it but uh, they had some newer stuff here surprisingly enough they have jack ryan shadow recruits oz the great and powerful captain phillips fast six and San Andreas, and also had Transformers The Last Night, which I did grab. I am getting that one, and uh, let's see what else they have here. There's some of these Spider-Man ones. I have a chappy Iron Man, sorry, Iron Man 3 once again. Uh, even some Shark Week as well, the 25th anniversary, and then Fins of Fury. And if we go down here, there's just mostly just kind of computer games and that. And if we go down here... Uh, there doesn't really seem to be too much. I did grab a couple things here, but That's all I could kind of manage to find but over here now uh, They have some Twilight uh, audiobooks it seems and it's just, That's not what I thought it was uh, Yeah, it's just kind of really too much here. Wind chill So it's some kind of newer one um, yeah, nothing really too much here. There's some more Farscape once again. And then down here, there does not seem to be anything else a whole lot. Uh, they have the Wolverine 3D one, the extended cut, but that's about it for this side. So I'll go over here. There's a couple more Blu rays. Like they got Dumb and Dumber, Blind Side, Glorious Bastards, The Hunger Games, History of Violence, X Men, and Planet of the Apes. Um, was this the Mark of Zorro? Hmm. And uh, let's go down here. There's some big, huge, like anime set. I'm not sure what that is Van Dread. They have that rocky thing once again. And that's about it for this side. Let's have the uh, Indiana Jones Complete Adventure box set, which is super cool. And if we go over here. There does not seem to be too much. I have the Evening with Kevin Smith here, which is also a pretty cool box set as well. Some Degrassi, Bully, and 
Let's get another blue egg, zombie land. And if we go down here, it's not too much. It's well down here. They're the Avengers on DVD. But you, you see that on DVD like everywhere though. But that's pretty much about it for this side. So this is another shelf of movies over here. They must have gotten rid of all their dollar stuff because it was right here. And uh, you know they got more Degrassi, Full House. Um, and then if we go down here, it's not too much. The Dead Zone, the first season of that, six bucks, regular price. And they have uh, some classic ones here, The Wild Bunch and Five Easy Pieces. Um, it's pretty much about it for that side. And if we go down here, it does not seem to be too, too much of a regular show. And down here, it doesn't seem to be anything. But, uh, you know, not too much else. So that's pretty much about it for Goodwill. So let's go home now and show you guys what I picked up. Alright guys, just got back home from doing all that thrifting and everything. So I went to those two Goodwill, or the one Goodwill and the one Savers. So there are those two locations that I haven't been to in a while. I'm just going to move this up a little bit. There we go. Uh, those two locations I haven't been to in a little while. And I found a pile of stuff. So I'm going to show you guys what I picked up there. Uh, I went to Savers first and then went to Goodwill after. I picked up three things at Savers and four things at Goodwill. So we're going to take a look at what I picked up at Savers first. And I'll show you guys what I picked up at Goodwill. So... I picked up three things there, so two movies and one TV show season, so just get the TV show out of the way first. Uh, and that is the complete 15th season of South Park. The reason why I picked this one up and not, because I saw a few seasons of South Park there, and the only two that they had there that I did not have yet were this season, and they had season 13 there. But these two seasons were like $7.99 each, and I'm not going to, you know, pay like... How much would that be? Like probably 16 bucks worth of stuff there. Not going to pay like $16 for two South Park seasons. So I figured I'd just pick up one. And I decided to pick up se uh, season 15 here. Because season 15 is nigh impossible to find. Because I never ever ever see this one anywhere. If I come across seasons of South Park at Goodwill or Savers or anything like that. It's usually... Uh... It's a very rare occurrence that I find South Park there, but usually it's maybe like the first couple of seasons and then maybe a later season, and that's pretty much about it for South Park. But season 15 is impossible to find, so I decided to pick this one up, and actually in the box variant as well, because usually the one way that you can get season 15 of South Park is if you order it online, and then if you order it online, you will get the, uh, you know, the case variant. So you would just, this is an older pickup, but you just get it like this, but it's like a clear case. But I was lucky enough to find the box version of it, so I'm happy to have that now for completion's sake. And the next impossible to find South Park season for me is season 18, because I can't find that one anywhere, or even 19 or 20 for that matter. Even though those ones are our new seasons, I still can't find them, but... Season 15 of South Park, I figured I'd pick that one up because I never really see it a whole lot. And then I'll pick up Season 13 when I see it for a little bit cheaper because that one is pretty common and everything. So, that's the only reason why I picked up Season 15. So, that's it for the TV shows for this video. Now, we'll get on to the movies now. So, the first movie that I picked up here is one that I originally thought was very out of print, but it's apparently not because I did check eBay before this video. And apparently, it is not out of print and... You know, there's a couple listings that said it's out of print, but maybe they're just trying to scam people just by saying it's out of print and they're just overcharging for it. But I found this one here, and it's been one I've been looking for for a little while now, and that is Tucker, the Man in His Dream. This is apparently a Francis Ford Coppola and George Lucas movie because Francis Ford Coppola directed it and George Lucas executive produced it. And it's been one I've been looking for for a pretty long while now because... You know, it's a George Lucas movie, and older George Lucas movies usually tend to not be too bad. And, you know, I kind of like these kind of older, not necessarily period pieces, but kind of ones that are set in like the 40s and 50s. I kind of like those kinds of movies. And this one should be no different. Tucker the Man in His Dream, and it's about cars and everything, so it could be kind of cool. I've heard pretty good things about it, so I am probably going to check it out sooner or later here. But, uh... 
yeah, unfortunately, I don't know if it came with any, you know, DVD guide or anything like that, but it, you know, didn't come with anything, but yeah, Tucker, the man in his dream, I've been looking for this one for a little while now, and I finally found it, and it's one you don't really necessarily see too often at thrift stores, or even if you go to Walmart or anything, actually, you don't see a whole lot of older movies at Walmart when you go shopping or anything like that, but yeah, Tucker, the man in his dream, I was lucky enough to find that one. And then the last movie that I picked up at Savers, I actually went back to grab this one as well. Because one of you guys actually suggested I pick this one up, and that was uh, Movie Man 909. So thank you for the suggestion there. And you told me to pick it up during that last camping video. But I did not pick it up. I actually didn't even see it there. But that movie was Switchback. I don't really know too much about it. I know you, Movie Man 909, I know you said that this was a pretty good movie. So maybe I'll watch it here soon. But for right now, I just decided to pick it up, and it was actually brand new factory sealed. The case is still a little bit, like, sticky from the stickers, but, you know, what are you going to do? It was, it had security stickers on here, here, and here. So that is uh, Switchback, and I looked inside, and it is complete and everything. So that is uh, Switchback. I know it's, it's supposed to be some kind of a thriller with a serial killer. Sounds pretty interesting, but yeah, that is Switchback. I know very little about that one besides, um, you know, Movie Man 909 saying it was good. So thank you for the suggestion for that one. And that was, and that basically concludes the Savers part of the video. Funny enough, it's actually all Paramount releases. This is Paramount. This is Paramount, as you can see down there. And then this is Paramount right there. So, you know, kind of ironic with, you know, all three of these there. So that is the savers portion so we'll go on to the goodwill stuff now and i found a few things there actually more stuff than savers so we'll get started here i picked up a blu-ray there surprisingly enough when we uh when i usually go to goodwill and everything there is usually a ton of blu-rays but unfortunately there's nothing really that great nothing i really need nothing i really want but i usually you know sometimes i find some good 3d stuff other times i find some you know mcu stuff um, and other times you just find pretty much junk, like just a whole bunch of common Blu-rays that you see pretty much everywhere. But this one here, uh, you know, I was going to buy this one at Walmart for regular price, but, you know, it was six fifty, and I just had to pull the trigger because it was the last one of the series that I needed, and that is Transformers The Last Night. Oh boy, I'm, I might get some flack in the comments section for this one. If you guys remember from my channel a couple years ago, I was doing those review videos where I was saying what new movies I watched and everything in a week. And one of those videos I did in my review of Transformers The Last Night. And, uh, uh, yeah, I blasted that one. I was saying how horrible of a movie it was and everything. And now we're here today and you're probably wondering... If you blasted this movie in your review of it, why did you pick it up? Well, I just said why I picked it up is because I didn't have it yet, and it was the only Transformer movie that I did not have. Yes, this is an awful movie, and, you know, yes, I still didn't want to pay very much for this one. If it was like, I don't know, three bucks, I would probably pick it up. If it was $6.50, I couldn't resist. I needed to pick it up just to complete the collection and everything. And, uh, yeah, this, this was not really that great, but... Yeah, it's got the slipcover and everything. It's actually a pretty nice slipcover as well. The only thing it's missing, and I don't really care because it wasn't a good movie to begin with, but it doesn't have the code in it. But, like I said, whatever, who cares. It's not a very good movie anyways, but I just wanted to pick it up just to have all the Transformers movies, all five of them. And then, besides Bumblebee as well, uh, which was a way bigger improvement on the Transformers movies. But yeah, Transformers The Last Night... Didn't like it, but had to pick it up, though. And then, unfortunately, I did look in the dollar bin, and I only found one movie from the dollar bin. I know some of the dollar bins lately have not been very kind. They haven't really had anything, but I did pick up a DVD in there. And that is Prince of Persia, The Sounds of Time. I know it's probably not the best movie to grab from all those, but it's something, though. Prince of Persia, The Sounds of Time... I heard it's not too bad of a movie. I know a lot of people didn't really care for it. It's based off the video games and everything. I've been playing the video game recently, and I don't mind it. It's it's not too bad. 
But Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, I mostly bought it. It was a dollar, and it has Jake Gyllenhaal in it. Jake Gyllenhaal is an awesome actor. Probably one of the best of the decade, and just simply had to check this one out because he's... Because of him, and because you might get some kind of corny Ben Kingsley in there. I know, I'm, I'm aware Ben Kingsley is a really good actor, but... You know, just like with Transformers The Last Night, you have some old actors just trying to have fun with everything, and Anthony Hopkins looks like he was having the time of his life in that movie. And maybe Ben Kingsley looks like he's having fun in this one too, but I'm not too sure, but I haven't seen it. But, uh, yeah, Prince of Persia, The Santa Time. I do want to check this one out. It does kind of look to be a pretty fun movie. And it's by Jerry Bruckheimer as well. So, yeah, well, not directed by him, but it was produced by him. But, yeah, Prince of Persia, The Santa Time. It was a buck, and I picked it up. And this next one here is another one. It was on sale, and I decided to pick it up. It's quite common, but... I know a lot of people seem to really like this one, and that is Identity, starring John Cusack, Ray Liotta, and Amanda Peet. It is a red tag, so it was only a buck fifty from three bucks, so I decided to pick it up. I know it's a movie that a lot of people really like, and it's apparently directed by James Mangold, who also did uh, Logan and the Wolverine and that. Logan is probably one of my favorite movies of this decade, and this one should be pretty good as well if it is directed by James Mangold. But uh, Identity, just decided to pick it up. A lot of people have seen it. A lot of people really like it. I haven't seen it yet, though. And, yeah. So that is that one. And then the last DVD that I have to show you guys for this video is actually a triple feature and was also on sale for 5 bucks. So I would get it for... Uh, what did that work out to? Two fifty. And it is a, is a Ben Stiller triple feature, and that includes Along King Polly, Reality Bites, and Mystery Men. Out of these three, the only one I've seen is Along Came Polly, and Along Came Polly is a pretty decent movie. I don't mind it. Uh, Reality Bites and Mystery Man I haven't seen, though. Reality Bites, I know I probably should watch that one. I do have the soundtrack and everything for it. Mystery Man looks like it's a lot of fun, and I know a lot of people really enjoy that one. It's one of their guilty pleasures. And fun fact about this movie as well is a lot of people seem to think that the song All Star by Smash Mouth actually comes from Shrek, and it was recorded specifically for the Shrek soundtrack. It was mostly just included on there, and it was included in the movie, but it's also on the Mystery Men soundtrack as well, and, you know, just thought it was a little bit of a tidbit for information. It was recorded specifically for Mystery Men, and it's on the Mystery Men soundtrack, so there's just a little bit of uh, information for you guys, a little tidbit there. But they all come on their own discs, so you have one disc for Long King Polly, one other disc for Reality Bites, and another disc for Mystery Men, and... One of the reasons why I bought this one is because it was on sale, and I wanted Along Came Polly in my collection, but I didn't really want to pay, you know, full price for it. And I needed a widescreen release of Reality Bites as well. I do have Reality Bites on DVD. Well, it probably should be over there because it's under my R's, but, uh, yeah, or it's in my R section, I guess. But Reality Bites, I wanted a full, or not a full screen, a widescreen version of Reality Bites. And Mystery Man just kind of came as a bonus, and I do kind of want to check it out. Could be kind of cheesy, corny fun, but that is uh, that is about it for that one. Anyway, though, guys, that is about it for this video. I hope you enjoyed all these pickups and everything, uh, including the one Blu-ray, and then uh, you know only one dollar find, unfortunately. But that is going to do it for this video. So thanks for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Uh, Twitter and Instagram links will be in the description down below if you want to follow me on there. Also, be sure to check out my IMDb profile page. A link for that will be down below in the description of this video as well. And also be sure to click the bell to be notified of future videos, a new video every Tuesday and Friday. So anyway, though, guys, that is about it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.